Welcome back to your favorite Saturday Long Play show, Saturday Long Play, episode seven, episode number one of Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. You guys requested this one, um, so we're going to do it. Um, just so you know, uh, as a heads up, there's a lot of uh, cutscenes here at the beginning of the game, so we're just going to get started, and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Raziel, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with Cain and my brethren at the dawn of the Empire. I have served him a millennium. Over time, we became less human and more divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. only one possible outcome, my eternal damnation. I, Razio, was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the Lake of the Dead. Cast him in. Burning with white hot fire, I plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. 
There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul <clears throat> reaver. My angel of death. Okay, so we're finally back. Um, so lots of things to cover before we get real far into this game. Um, so I played this, I tried to play this on the PC, uh, which is the best ver looking version of this game. Um, and it's like completely unrecordable. These gates twist space, laying a path across great spans. So what ends up happening is, is that I record for X amount of time. Um, it, it'll switch to a cutscene, which as you can see happens a lot in the beginning of the game here. Um, and, um, you must visit other gates before this portal will be open to you. So how these work is you basically just flip through different portals and then you just walk through them. Um, but anyway, so I try to record the PC version and every time it cuts to a cutscene, whether it's in game or pre-rendered, um, the game, it switches resolutions. Um, and OBS loses like a full two seconds of that cutscene, uh, the video for whatever reason. And it also does it when it switches back. So it, it I wasn't able to, re you must feed the old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You've become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. So yeah, so uh, there was a lot of problems recording this on PC, um, and I actually, <laughs> what you didn't see um, off screen as well was that I recorded it on one PS1 emulator, um, got to this part, and then none of the effects for the souls or the font uh, here on the floor or the little, like, you see how I've got, like, little particles coming off of my face for, um, uh, you know, when I'm using my uh, my soul suck ability. Um, that doesn't that doesn't work. Um, <laughs> they, they don't show up in in the other version so i went and tried to get the dreamcast version um which is actually a better looking port of the game but um your wings though ruined are not without purpose take hold of them as you leap and they will carry you so this it's literally showing you the thing i already did um but so the the Dreamcast version is a much better looking version of the game, but uh, every Dreamcast emulator that I could find was running the game at 60 frames a second, so it was running as twice as fast as it should. Um, so that was making it hard to play. Stua, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. So the uh, so now I can tell you from speaking from experience um, that the Dreamcast version is like a weird combination of God damn it the, the Dreamcast version is a is a weird combination of like PS1 and PS2 graphics um, which I thought was strange. Also, I'm I'm more than likely going to get R1 and R2 confused because it has the um, it has the because the camera isn't controllable by a stick because it's a PS1 game. Um, so what is going to happen is that I'm basically uh, emulating the camera as uh, L1 and R1 and um, using my crouch and walk or crouch and auto face as uh, L2 and R2 
Um, so if I get them confused uh, every now and again, sorry about that. But yeah, so welcome. So after all of that, <laughs> welcome to uh, Legacy of Cain, the Soul Reaver. Uh, I wanted to say again, thanks for voting on this one. Um, we'll let the Elder God talk. Material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. Uh, yeah, so thanks for voting on this one. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, I do. I am a big fan of this game and a big fan of this series if you watched uh, Blood Omen. Um, but yeah, so... Um, your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. So yeah, so we're going to uh, forge on ahead with the... Uh, all of the lore and all that other stuff. Oh my god, my so many cutscenes. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body. Yeah, I know. Your return to the spirit world. Be aware. I know this is a great tutorial for somebody that's never played this, but nor lived. It stands. This is a little much. So. The only thing that he said that that's different than don't touch water, it'll kill you, is um, the fact that if you fall if you fall into water in the spirit world, which is where I was at the beginning, uh, if you fall into water in the spirit world, what happens is is that it's not like water; it's basically just like nothingness. So you can actually move around underwater uh, in the spirit realm without uh, you know having to worry about swimming or anything like that. So it, it becomes a mechanic later. These foul scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood. Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. All right, so now I gotta kill these guys. Um, now I know a lot of people will complain about the combat and the puzzles in this game. Weaknesses, having suffered them myself, physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. So this is really cool that you can, um... A lot of people shit on this, uh, because... Um, you have to basically find stuff to throw enemies into, but it, it doesn't happen that often that it's a big deal. And unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. See, this guy I knew that guy was gonna hit me. The only problem is is that I can't hit that guy. So you can't, like... You can't grab him facing this way and then face another direction when you pick him up. So, like, I have to actually get on that side of him, throw him, and then get him into the... That's one of the big issues. Um, what sucks about not playing this on the PC is that I had the controller mapped out so I could actually control the camera with my thumbstick. What you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. Yeah. So, this is everyone's biggest complaint of this game, is that there's just block puzzles, and that's like 98% of the puzzles. And yeah, like I kind of agree with that, but um, it's still a great game. Um, when I first played this, it was 1999 when it came out. So I bought it right as it came out. Um, so I would have been, let me think, 99. I would have been in like seventh grade when this came out. And uh, now as Bird and I have mentioned before, we didn't have a lot of, like we didn't have, uh, you know, an N64 or anything like that. So a lot of the games that we played were on PC. So it took, um, so we weren't getting a lot of like, you know, the best stuff 
Um, and when this came out, we, we saw the PS1 demo disc that had this and... Um, shit, what was the name of that game? The sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Cain's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. Yeah, so um, in the story of the series, um, Cain actually, um, you know, as we talked about in the uh, in the Blood Omen series that we did, um, Cain actually um, refuses to kill himself, essentially, to sacrifice himself to... Um, there we go. How do I get... There we go. Okay. Uh, damn it. Uh, he refuses to kill himself to, uh, you know, purge the pillars, and this is essentially what happens. Um, is, you know, this is sort of the timeline of events. So... Yeah, but uh, so uh, we did find this. Uh, we did play this. Uh, my cousin had it. It was on a PS1 demo disc with like the Unholy War and some other stuff, um, and just absolutely loved the shit out of this game um, when we played it on the demo disc. And uh, so yeah, so I ended up getting it. Um, and boy, little Babby Tom was not very good at this game. I tried my damnedest, uh, but I was not very good. So you can see that there's uh, those fences there. Uh, we get a power later that lets us go through those. Um, it's after we beat the first boss. So uh, we'll worry about that stuff later. We saw one um, in the bottom of the pit there that when we fought that uh, that little fledgling vampire guy, uh, there was th where we threw him into the water there. There was one underneath there, um, which we can get when we go into the spirit realm um, and then drop down there. But yeah, so this is... Um, this is Soul Reaver. Um, I haven't played this in a very long time. Um, and this is how I first got into the Legacy of Cain series was through this um, through this game. And you can see um, that while the first game has some implications here in this story, um, it's not like the most vitally important thing ever. Um, they give you the information that you need um, to really follow along the story. I mean, they basically say that, you know, Cain didn't sacrifice himself in order to save the land, so this is what happened. So if I walk through this gate, which I won't because I still have... Um, I still have... Uh, I'm still in physical form and I can't go underwater yet, um, which is a power we get later... But uh, since I'm still in my physical form, I'm not going to go there because it's just going to take me back and I'm not really looking to do that right now. But I did want to activate that since we were here. Um, yeah, so the, the to continue what I was talking about, the, the story implications of the first game aren't really, like, they they obviously, you know, if you played the first game, it's it'll help you greatly to understand what's going on here in this game. Uh, but you don't necessarily need everything um, you don't really need to start knowing a lot about the first game until you get into, I believe, Soul Reaver 2, um, and then Blood Omen 2 and Defiance really lean heavily into the first game and then things that have happened in the previous games. ...swirling vortex of the abyss, my tomb and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Nosgoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west, a 
was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. So yeah, so now we kind of, this is where they threw us off at the beginning here. Um, now we can go across here and eventually, I think we can actually do it now if we jump and stuff. Um, so this is essentially the way forward right now is over here. Um, and later on when we get the swimming power up, I can actually show you a, there's an area that got cut from the, well, it didn't, it did, but didn't get cut. It was supposed to have, um, you know, a story mission and stuff like that through it. Um, but it doesn't now. So it's essentially just like a village that you can visit. Um, and but we'll talk about that more when we get there. Um, but it's essentially a, a village that you can visit like you do any of the other areas in the game. Um, but it just doesn't have any, you know, doesn't have a, a boss to fight or anything like that. It's literally just an area that you can go to. So here we go. Um, this is the furthest I've been in this game in a very long time. And I'm looking forward to it, guys. Um, like I said, um, as you can see, I've been carrying this weapon around for a while. Uh, and there's good reason for that. Uh, because the staff weapons are generally the best weapons to have in this game. So you can't... So I can get this guy right here. He's not going to let me get him, though. So... I'm going to kill this guy if I can, because I need that health. Oh. Come on, hit him. All right, well, I guess I'm only getting the one, but... Yeah, you can see that the the either the, the spear weapons or the staff weapons, whatever you want to call them, uh, have a tendency to be the better weapons in the game, um, because they're easy to use, um, the combat for them is a lot better because you have a little bit better reach on them. Um, you can use things like the torch that I did earlier. So as you can see, there's another, uh, there's another piece there. I believe that upgrades our health. Um, but yeah, so there's different, uh, different things that you can do. Um, uh, what is this for? I don't remember how, I don't think, yeah, we can't. I don't think we can aim yet. I keep trying to use the stick like that's going to do something. Did I just throw that into the wall? I did. So that's the other thing you can do is you can throw them at enemies. Um, and if you throw it um, accurately, you can actually kill an enemy without having to, like, fight them. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. So yeah, um, so we're in Raziel's uh, clan's area. Um, I so desperately. Oh shit, that's right, Ekrat. So yeah, if I pick that guy up before I before his before I swallow his soul or whatever, uh, that's what happens. Is they come back. Uh, they'll come back to life because essentially he's not dead. And since we pulled the staff out of him, uh, you know, he's using his healing ability or whatever to, uh, to come back. So I'll try to keep some of these, uh, staff weapons. Uh, you'll see me use them a lot during the game. Um, until we get, um, until we get the, uh, the sword, uh, the soul reaver, which, uh, we don't get until... I don't remember if we do that before we fight the real first boss or not. I honestly don't remember. Like I said, it is, it's been a bit. So, uh, again, we're going to activate this. And I don't know how well the loading times are on the PS1. Um, let's take a look. So that's the, that's underwater. That's where we, um, that's where we started. So this is back where the, the pit is. So as you can see, it gets rid of, um, it gets rid of our weapon, but let's go back. Okay. So it's sitting right there. That's convenient. Okay. Now, uh, shit. We might not be able to pick it up though. Let's see if we can. 
Can I? There we go. Got it. Cool. So yeah. Um, so that's how those worked. And as a kid, I didn't really understand that you had to walk through them. Um, I thought you just sort of selected the one that you wanted and hit, you know, the confirm button. Um, and that was it. And then I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. And it was mostly because I'm a giant idiot. Um, but yeah, so, uh, Raziel's clan, um, this area is sort of the least dense, um, you're fighting just generic enemies here. Um, and that's because Raziel has been gone. Um, so you're, f you're actually fighting one of your brother's sort of little guys, Duma, who is the first guy. I believe the, f mm, I don't remember. No, Duma is not the first guy you fight. Um, I, I know a lot about the, <laughs> I know a lot about the lore of the series and I just don't remember people's names. Um, so we can go down there. But we're not going to do that right this second because I feel like there's stuff we still need to do in the physical realm. But there is stuff to do down there. So let's see if I... Okay, that didn't... It, I thought that impaled them, but I guess it didn't. It just knocked him out. But that's fine. I mean, that saved me a lot of swinging, so I'll take that. Uh, but you can see that humans still exist in this world. So it's not like... You know, it's not like a like a wasteland or anything like that. Like it, humans still exist and, and the vampires still feed on them and stuff. Um, it's just not great. Uh, as you can see, everything's kind of a fucking mess. All right, so let's go through the, oh, oh boy. I forgot that that's a thing that happens. Because you run in this game, sometimes when you hit the wrong button, you kind of, when you jump, you move really fast. I don't know if you, if that's, you know, obvious in the, in the video or not, but yeah, when you jump, you actually like, your character speeds up significantly. So sometimes when you accidentally hit the wrong button to open stuff, uh, you end up jumping and it, like, <laughs> you just like fly around the screen. Um, okay. So, nothing here. Oh, there's this guy. Um, and like I said, we'll go back to some of these because this is sort of, as Ando has explained it, it's like, a, um, <laughs> he says Edgelord, uh, Edgelord Legend of Zelda. I don't know that I'd necessarily call it Edgelord, but you know, apparently I'm the Edgelord, so... <laughs> Uh, so, you know, what's edgelordy to me is completely different to everybody else. But yeah, uh, just absolutely love this series. And, um, this is a great place to start. Um, if you watched, uh, Blood Omen, uh, you can tell that there is a very big difference between that and this game. Um, and this was actually supposed to be a completely different game, um, that they sort of retrofitted to work as a Legacy of King game. Um, but, you know, as, as we'll see, you know, if we continue the series, um, that there's no way that the series could have been anything about, you know, anything of what it was without this game. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot you can pick those up because they just blow up real, they like explode real shitty. Um, okay. So let's hit this. I believe this is going to drop a, uh, yep, it's going to drop a drawbridge for us and we're going to go on to our area. I think the other thing about this game that always, you know, kind of confused me as a kid is that, like, I didn't really understand, like, you know, I was so, as a kid, I was so used to playing games that put you on a linear path and you just, you know, you go to the area and you do the thing and then you, the game moves you on to the next area and that's not really how this game works. Um, we're going to go back to a lot of places. We're going to do a lot of different things um, in terms of, you know, we're going to see a lot of similar places. We're going to have to access them in different ways. Uh, please. I didn't recognize these flayed racks of flesh. Their scent was vampiric. Uh, they gnawed upon their victim's carcass like dogs. So yeah, so we're going to access areas, um, not all of them, like we won't go back to every single, excuse me, every single area, but we'll go back to certain areas to access, 
um, you know, if we want to access um, some of those power-ups or the upgrades or whatever, uh, we'll need to go back through and kind of see where those are and then go back and get them. Um, and as we progress through the game, we're going to unlock areas to go through. I mean, just, you know, just like, like Legend of Zelda. Uh, you know, we're going to access areas, um, you know, towards the start um, that we couldn't access before. As you saw, maybe you saw anyway, there was a, uh, there's a fence towards the beginning that we can access um, that we'll be able to go through eventually. Um, we'll, we'll get a climbing ability that we can use. Um, we'll also be able to swim at one point. Um, so there's a lot of different power-ups that we're going to get through the game that are going to, you know, help us progress in other areas that we couldn't get through before. Um, I thought there was guys right there, but there isn't. There is this guy, though. So, like I said about humans, there are some. And you actually do fight some... Uh, there isn't a lot, but there are there are some in the game um, that you fight. This charnel house bore the unmistakable marks of Melchior's clan. To what depths had our dynasty plummeted if these ghouls were the descendants of my high-born brother? Were they so debased as to recruit fledglings from the desiccated corpses here in Turd? Did he call him a turd? I know he didn't call him a turd, but... All right, so okay, he's he's wounded. So let's dispose of him, and we're gonna run over here and grab this. Not that it's any different than any of the actual, uh, you know, the other, the uh, whatever the spear weapons, whatever you want to call them. Not that it's any different than any of the other ones, but okay. Um, let's see here. How do I... There's gotta be... I know there's a way to aim in the game, and I don't remember what it is. Maybe I can't do it now? Can I just jump up here? There's a reason that this block is here, and I gotta remember what the hell it is. All right, let's see if we can move it. Maybe we have to take it out. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing, okay. So I guess that's a no then, it doesn't go out. All right, let's take a look. There we go, that's what it was. I, all I had to do was pull it over to the other side, but yeah. My brother Melchiah was made last and therefore received the poorest portion of Cain's gift. Although immortal, his soul could not sustain the flesh, which retained much of its previous human frailty. This weakness, it seemed, was passed on to his offspring. Their fragile skins barely contained the underlying decay. So standing out in the rain actually hurts us as well. Um, you can see slowly drains your health um and once we get the uh the uh health cup grade for that it won't happen we'll return after these messages yeah so when you get the uh when you get the upgrade for um to be oh shit I can't remember if you can actually bait them into walking in here. I don't think you can. Oh, that's not going to do me any good. And... Nope. And Spiro, yay! I gotta get used to this whole Spyro camera shit. Oh, son of a bitch, I did it twice. So... One of the things that is mildly convenient about the way that this game works is you don't necessarily, you can't, you can't really die. Like all it does is really just push you back. So obviously you have a physical form um, that we're using right now. And when we 
when all of the energy in our physical form runs out, we will have to go to the spirit world and refill our health, um, just kind of like we did at the beginning there. Uh, but we'll have to fight, you know, those ghosty boys or whatever. Um, this is also a uh, an area that we'll have to go to eventually. But right now we're going to go up here. Um, but yeah, so... I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. That's okay. Um, so let's keep going. Where are we headed? Maybe we do fight. Oh boy. There's some Mario 64 stairs for you. So I guess... The, okay, so I guess that was the way we had to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I remember what I was talking about now. Yeah, essentially you go back... It just sends you back to the pit that you start out in. Um, so even after you lose all your health in uh, the spirit realm, that's really all the further back it can send you. And if you're unlocking all of these teleports, it's not its not really sending you that far back. Um, so it's not really a huge deal. So let's go down here. Um, now I know there's guys down here and that's where I came from. So we're gonna just drop down here. And I don't remember exactly where this, or was this where we came in? This is where we came in, right? It was. Shit. Okay. Um, let's climb back up. And here we go. So that was our teleporter. Where do we need to go? Weird. Oh, 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 oh. I think this is, um, well, I guess we're going to find out since I just did it. No, no, this isn't the area that I thought it was. And I just got shot. So we're about to run out of, yep, there we go. So we're, we're in the spirit realm now. So a couple of things that we'll need to do while we're here is we're going to have to find a portal. Um, there's one. So we'll have to find some souls to steal. There's one. Nope, there's two. Okay, so that's enough. That's enough to get us what we need to do. So let's go over here. And how do I engage this? I forget. There it is. So now we can shift that at any point. Um, it doesn't have to be, uh, when we're in the physical world, I mean, uh, we can shift that at any point. We don't have to be, um, we don't have to be near a portal. As you can imagine, it would be hard to find, uh, if we did. So let's take a look around and see what we can see here. I'm not seeing anything. So. And then they, both of these go the same place. Unless I just, I had to have missed something. Maybe there was a door on the other side? Oh boy. There was, I'm dumb. So that's why I missed it because I wasn't paying attention. So this leads us forward. But again, you can see if you're not paying attention, not that you get lost lost, but it can be a little frustrating to try to get back to where you were or where you're supposed to be rather. All right, we're gonna eat that guy's soul. And we're gonna move forward. I think Excuse me. I think this block, you can't do this block puzzle until later. Yeah, I don't think that's until later. So let's go this way. We gotta turn the camera. Okay. Okay, 
so that's good. And we should make it. Yes, perfect. Awesome. Oh, here's one of these fucking guys. So we're actually moving, again, because I haven't played this in so long, and because I played it so much as a kid, I remember a lot of this taking a lot longer, but I was also, like, you know, kind of being a dumb dummy with it, so... Oh, I need to grab my... I think there's some in here. Is there? I'm just gonna ignore these guys. I'm just gonna leave. Who's gonna stop me? Them? So this area, if I'm remembering it correctly, so that guy's not dead. Yeah, so this is the first area where you have to use your uh, spirit realm ability. So here's what happens. Beware, Raziel. These wraiths are vampire spirits fettered too long in the spectral realm. When their vampire natures adapt to this plane, they become eaters of souls. Do not allow these spirits to re-inhabit their corpses. So he's going to try to come over here, I think. Oh. What if I... No. Nope. Where is this? Why? What is this guy doing? Can you come fight me, please? I would really like to fight you. Okay, so then when I swallow this guy's soul, essentially, he will, um, yeah, he'll fill me up. So that's good. Um, so right now, we're gonna get, I mean, I don't need it necessarily, but, um, so there's a couple of things we can do. Um, I don't know why I thought that was a thing, but okay. Um, so we're gonna come over here and climb up this. So as you can see, that was in the wall before, and that's what's really neat about the um, the spirit realm abilities in this game, is that it changes, not only does it allow you to do things like walk in the water and stuff like that, but um, it also like changes the uh, geography of an area, so that way, um, you know, you can climb to a different height that you couldn't reach before, or, you know, what have you. Easily one of my favorite mechanics of this game. Um, so that door there we have to access later, I believe. Um, because again, it's a gate, and we'll access those. How do I... Can I only move it on the track? Okay. Does this allow me to do something? Oh, L1 to flip. Okay. Do I have to hit? Oh, okay. I see now. I am a fucking moron. Okay. So we got to pull it back a little bit so we can stand on the other side. Then we got to push it. Oh, uh, see, this is what, remember what I was talking about? How you run like an idiot? Well, now I'm running like an idiot. So we're going to have to go back up here. And because we lost health, well, we, again, because right now our limitation in the, the you know the the regular realm the you know the living realm or whatever you want to call it um you just slowly drain health um so that's why you kind of have to keep feeding as so right now i can't switch until i find some until i find some souls so i'm just going to stand here eventually in rooms where there is one of these um in one of these portals or whatever, there's almost always souls floating around or something to 
you know, to fight to get souls. Um, so it's not usually a huge deal, but sometimes it can be a pain and you have to backtrack really far. So there we go. So we actually do go this way. I thought because of the gate, we didn't go there until later. Because a lot of the time in this game, it will, it literally is just like, here's a gate. You definitely won't go here until later. Um, okay, so any platforms? There's one here. Got it. So now I need to switch. Or at least I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Ah, one of these fucking guys. That's alright, we're gonna switch before he ever gets to us. That looks like there's another... another block. Um, okay, where would that be at? Well, let's go down here first and see what's down here. I don't have anything to kill this guy with. Oh, there. Right, now I do. I'm gonna have to pick this one up, though. Yep. Let me run away real quick. And then we eat a soul. So yeah, like, the, <laughs> the basic tactic of this is just walk away, like, fight the guy, kill the guy, back away from any other enemies, and then, you know, the need a soul. And that's the best way I can describe how to play this game. Um, and as you can see, I've used almost nothing but these, um, these staff weapons. So, um, anything over here? Okay. So do we have to drag that? Will that go? Yeah, that'll go. So here we go. So we're going to pull this one out and we're going to put it in that slot over there on the left hand side. Um, and I don't think there's like any, as Bird and I have talked about on several occasions, you know, there's always these speed running strats or anything like that, but I don't think there's any like movement, like block movement stuff that to make that move any faster. Um, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why. So we want to duck and do I need to throw this? Maybe I do. Or can I not push that? Maybe I can't. Maybe I have to push it. Maybe I have to push it down here and then bring it up across. Across. Jesus, Ando would be throwing up right now. Um, okay. So, really looks like I can do that. Maybe... Um, let's try this. Let's see if we can do it on this side. forward okay okay no. so i think we have to drop it down yep we do if it lets you drop it down you're supposed to drop it down <laughs> i will give them that the uh they make sure that you can only do what you're supposed to do okay so let's no, I know the rest of these fucking Zambambalies. These fucking vampire boys are going to pop out of the ground. Yep, there they go. Nope, no, 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 no. Stop. So I actually have to let go of the block before I hit a direction. So, like, if I try to hit if I try to, if I let go of the button and then hit like left or right, it still thinks that I'm holding on to the block. I remember that being a, a thing that I always griped about even as a kid. So this needs to go here and then up and then we lift it up. Okay. And then we do it again. And we come up here. We do that. And then it goes up. And 
get it over this way, get it down, and we'll come around the other side and we'll push it in. So there's a lot of this kind of stuff in the game, and I can definitely see people's complaints about that. Um, you know, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist or that it isn't annoying, um, but I don't know, maybe it just doesn't bother me as much. Um, I did read a, I did watch a review, um, recently, the past, I don't know, three or four months or so saying about, um, it was essentially, uh, you know, an overarching review of the series and, you know, while, you know, everybody praised the, the story bits for this game, uh, this reviewer, whoever it was, and I don't remember exactly who it was, um, basically said that, um, while the story, you know, the story beats of this game were great, it had some of the worst gameplay out of the series, which I don't know that I agree with, but, you know, I'm also a fan of this series, so it's kind of hard for me to, kind of hard for me to objectively say, oh yeah, you know, this one has terrible this or that. It, you know, I'm a bad judge of that because, you know, I... Not that I'll look past this series' faults, but I definitely um, will be easier on it, for sure. Okay, so what is that? Is that this here? It is. So now comes... And I think... Yeah, so... That has to go that way. And then this goes in. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to everybody and be like, oh yeah, you know, this is the best video game ever made. Um, it isn't. Uh, it just, it's one that had a really big impact on me um, because of the way it tells its story um, and got me obsessed about a lot of things uh, at a young age. Um, one of which, um, I think is a, is a weird concept to think about. Oh yeah. You can just shove it too. If you just tap the button, um, if you want, I don't know what difference that makes. I think you can just do that. If like you have to push it off an edge or something like that. Um, but one of the, th one of the things that this game brings up that I, I feel like is a weird thing to think about as a very young kid is like, what is, um, what is destiny and do you make it or is it predetermined and can you if it is predetermined can you change it and i think that's one of the weird things that this series sort of creates the you know uh an element that is put into this series that i would have never thought about as a kid um and it's sort of a heavy concept to think about as a kid um and so one of those you know one of those concepts that you know maybe i wasn't I wasn't ready for, but definitely, um, changed the way I feel about, uh, about games and what I think about when I think about storytelling. Um, because as many of you know, and maybe you don't, but, um, I, you know, I work on music. Uh, I write some, uh, horror punk music and I'm, you know, working on some other projects as well. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, those are kind of ways that I, I think about telling a story is, and it's a big deal in some of the music that I've written already as well. Um, you know, can you change if destiny is a thing and, um, and, you, and it, and it is preordained, it's, you know, pre, you know, preset or whatever, you know, can you change that? So, you know, just an interesting, an interesting thought. Um, that the game brings up that I think is pretty cool and we'll actually uh, experience that here um, the way the game tells that story uh, in a few minutes now why do I feel like here we go okay I'm trying desperately not to stand in that water because um, I just don't want to have to because there's there's little annoying guys that we see like in the soul area, uh, you know, the underworld or whatever you want to call it. Um, they're just fucking annoying. They're just really fucking annoying. I don't remember if this, well, I guess we're going to find out. I'm guessing we're in the water now. Yeah, we are. 
Yeah, these guys are just fucking irritating. Because, like, your regular attacks are such shit. Like, you have to... And, like, that guy, like, he's gonna run away. He's gonna try to eat another soul so he can he can power up so he can do damage to me again. Um, but he's really just a giant fucking pain in the ass. There you go. We'll just slap him. Steal a soul. All right. Um, uh, I forget where this takes us. If I'm being real honest. To more of these guys. Great. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, is this area useful to us? It is not. That is a climbing wall that we cannot access. So back down we go. Something to remember though, when we uh, eventually get to that point. Oh, I know what we were supposed to do. We dropped those blocks on top of each other, but I think we have to move them to a different, excuse me, we have to move them to a different area to use them. Uh, Cause right now it's just taking us back up where we were. But I believe if we move them, we can actually access um, another area up there. So let's find out. Um, so that takes us right here. Great. Okay. So let's go over here. Yeah, that's got to be it. So let's do that. Okay, let's push that here. Let's see where that takes us. Does that take us anywhere? No? Then what the hell is the point of this? After these messages, we'll be right back. So I was right. Um, so I'm just gonna, we're gonna keep going here. Sorry, it's been so long since I've played this that it's just, it's a little difficult to remember exactly what I'm supposed to be doing um, and where to go. Uh, and I still haven't quite figured out exactly how to control the camera in terms of looking around. So um, we're gonna have to figure that out here eventually. So here we go. This is where we're supposed to be. A lot of the times I talk about the can you know, you have to adjust the camera or whatever, but in scenarios like this, a lot of the time you don't have to, oh, okay. That's the other thing um, I had mentioned before about, you know, oh, you lose, you kind of lose control of yourself. Um, that happens a lot. Um, when you're running and attacking at the same time, uh, as you kind of just lose, lose track of yourself, you can't slow down. So you end up, um, falling off of ledges or into pits and things like that. So you can see like here, um, those are gates that we can, you know, eventually get through, um, whenever we get our power up. Oh, fuck this guy. I don't really care. I just want out of this. Oh, fuck. Seriously? I mean, I guess it's not a big deal, but... Where... What side of this are we on? Okay. I mean, that's not the worst. Yeah, running and attacking is... Um, a bad call. You can see that it just... <laughs> it just fucked that whole section up. So, um, I'm going to come over here and is there a weapon still? No. And of course I answer. Oh yeah, there is. So let's get the weapon. Let's kill this guy real quick. I feel like there is an, a, like a block button, but I don't remember. not like a traditional block. I don't think. Oh, that is the throw, but at least it landed close. Um, but yeah, so let's go back up there and uh, see what we can do. It looked like there was, again, I vaguely remember, like I remember a lot of the layouts of the early, just like any game that you haven't played in a long time. You remember a lot of the stuff from the early game because you've probably played that section the most. Um, but I definitely remember like the first couple of areas better than the rest. So we'll see what happens. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, so let's move on. So this is a, if you don't, if you're not paying attention, you'll slide into that pit. There's, I wouldn't say it's complete bullshit, but there are some, uh, there are some less than great uh, things that can happen like, like that, <laughs> where the game's just like, no, oh, you weren't paying, you weren't paying 100% attention to what you were doing. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, so there we go. So, um, I feel like that underwater area is an area that we go to later when we get the the underwater ability, but I can't remember 100% for sure, but who knows. Okay, so these are like the even weaker versions of those. See, they go down in like two hits. So run away. Soul steel, got it. Pick up the item, swing. One hit on that guy. All right, got it. Okay, so let's go up here. And I think we're actually about to, I don't know for sure, but I feel like we're getting close to a boss. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Let's not fuck around with him anymore. But yeah, when I was uh, when I was trying to play this on several different systems earlier, um, I did find that the Dreamcast version is the best looking version of this game. Um, and like the the textures are different. Um, the sound mixing is you know. Uh, in terms of just because this is on the PlayStation 1 and the Dreamcast is more PlayStation 2 era-ish graphics, um, the, the textures are a lot better. Uh, some of the some of the actual models are a little better. Um, not dramatically so, but they are definitely improved. Um, but yeah, overall, it, it's a much better running game than the the ps1 version it looks a lot cleaner and i was hoping to use that version but again the frame rate was pushing to 60 and um and that's just not what its native frame rate was so it just it just crapped uh it was going way too fast um and like all the audio was sped up so it sounded like everything was pitch shifted so it was, it was interesting. Okay. Um, I genuinely do not remember what I'm doing in here. I'm guessing I got to get all those things running. Well, let's pull the switch and find out. There's one. Hmm. Why do I feel like there's like a, um, like a dead space thing going on here? where yeah okay so there's the crank oh okay so that was all i had to do neat well that was easy i was thinking i was gonna have to like engage one and then go into the spirit realm maybe that's too complex for how old this game is i don't know but uh you never know I don't even know what that did, but it certainly activated something. There's definitely a vampire down here because the game... Oh, there's two. Are they fighting each other? Or are they just, like, lurking? Oh, well, that was dumb. All right, let's get the little shrimpy dude first. All right, back up. Got it. Pick up the item. Yeah, if you've got the movement, if you, I mean, if you've got the room to move, you know, running away, like running around an enemy is totally viable. It's just that if you're on ledges and stuff, like you almost never want to be running. Like you want to creep walk real hard. Sometimes I'll just, um, I'll crouch walk just to make it 
a little easier. Um, I think with, I can't remember if, if you crouch walk to a ledge, if it drops you off or not. Like, I want to say that it, that you're good, but I honestly don't remember. So I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to be like, oh yeah, no, it'll totally save your ass if you just crouch walk to a ledge. And then I find out that that's completely untrue, which seems like a thing I would do. So, okay. So let's see here. What do we accomplish up here? Does that mean I can do this now? Does it mean if I hit this button? No, yeah. That worked. Neat. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Um, what? I don't remember what this is. Can I do anything with this? I can't move it left or right. I can't back it up. I can't flip it. I don't know what the fuck that is. After these messages, we'll be right back. And oh, look, there's a hole right there. I feel like this playthrough is going to be full of this kind of stuff where it's like I don't know where to go and then I look and it's like the most easy thing ever in the world and I should have never have had to look for it but you know it is what it is right okay so what do we do here well fire guys where do they go I'm guessing you push them off so let's do that well let's just I mean, it looks like they're on a track, but let's just see if you... Okay, so that is the truth. That is the truth. I'm not a liar this time. All right, so we're going to push all of those down. Oh, I see. I'm guessing that was on underneath the, uh, underneath the elevator thing that we had pushed down earlier. Okay, so here we go. We'll do that to the next one. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a handful of these, which it looks like there is. Say any other time you move on your own. So I'm guessing there's one more. Oh, that was stupid. That was real dumb. There we go. Okay, well, that made it simple. Easy mistake, simple fix. I like that. Some of these, you know, like I mentioned before, some of these are specifically set up so that, like, if you fuck up, that's it. Like, you just got to restart. Okay, so now I have to slide these onto this, um, onto this elevator. And I don't remember exactly where they go, so we're just gonna get them on here for now. Um, I mean, I'm guessing they probably go on the little areas that looks like it would hold something like that, but you never know. So, mm, yeah, let's push that one over. Let's just get that on there. We'll get the other ones on there and then we'll see what happens. It 
it looked like that um, uh, the area um, that was underneath of here it looked like that was going to be the way forward and then I saw this stuff and realized that it wasn't okay so let's take a look here what can we do do we just need to put those like as close to the inside of this as possible because it doesn't look like there's a way really I, I, oh because I was standing in it I was like why can't I move that that way no this way Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so let's do that. And over. Perfect. Okay, so this is actually a lot easier than I thought. Some of these, um, some of these puzzles aren't... I think my biggest, my biggest complaint about this game, and, and I talked about it a little bit before, is that... You know, obviously there's a lot of these block pushing puzzles, but I just think like clearer direction on what it was that you were supposed to be doing would be the best. Um, Cause like we just lowered that. I, I had no idea. Like, I don't even know what the fuck we're doing right now. Like obviously we're lowering this to get to somewhere, but like, I don't know what the fuck we're doing. Um, and it's not real clear. It's not made real clear what exactly it is that we're doing, so. Is this just sending us back up to that first area? Or is this sending us somewhere new? No, it's sending us back up to the first area. So what is this? This is just here to what? That's here to get us back up. Can I do anything with this? No, okay. So let's go back down. It's like, I'm pretty sure we've done all we can do here. So that takes you up. Is there anything else down here? That takes you down. Or is this the one that I just took that takes you up? Okay, so let's not go that way. Let's go the other way. Turn the camera a little bit. Or do they both do the same thing? Oh, you know what? This is the boss. So we're that's why it's there. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get some health and we're gonna come back down here because we do not want to try to fight this boss without uh, full health. Not that any of the, like, I don't remember any of the bosses being particularly earth shatteringly difficult, um, but they can be a pain. So uh, if you're not prepared, so I think I'm just gonna um, just get some souls and then we'll, uh, we'll go down there and fight the boss. Uh, where is our thing? I thought it was right near here, which is why I did it here. Yeah, there it is. It's just that PlayStation pop-in. All right, so let's go back over. We'll grab the, we'll grab our weapon, and we'll uh, head down. So we got to go to the one that takes us down, which is this one. Okay, we ready here, folks? Here we go. Boss time. Creature. Do you not recognize me, brother? Brother! Am I so changed? Melkaya? You look like shit. Yes, brother. You should have stayed where the master sent you, Raziel. You will find Nosgoth less pleasant than you remember. What has become of my clan? Answer me, little brother, or I will beat an answer from your horrid lips. Everyone is afraid, sibling. 
you awake to a world of fear. These times of change are so unsettling. Do you think I feel no revulsion for this form? Do you believe for a moment that our Lord would risk his empire upon an upstart inheritance? Enough riddles. What are you saying? You are the last to die. All right, so here we go. So I actually genuinely do not remember. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I remember exactly what to do. Um, okay, so let's find... Gotta, so basically what we have to do is we got to coax him into coming to us, which he's kind of doing right now. So let's get ready. Let's get ready for him. And as soon as he sees us, as soon as he crosses that threshold, we smash the shit out of him. And we'll smack him around. Oh, no, that's right. Smacking him does nothing. Okay. So yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we just have to go through all of these and drop the fences on him. And that'll do it. And as you can see, he uh, phased through one of the gates. So that is uh, one of the first um, one of the first techniques we're actually going to learn in this game, or you know, get from a boss, is the um, the phasing mechanic. Okay, we gotta we gotta get we gotta go 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 get the thing get the thing. Oh damn it! Okay, we missed him. Um, Mostly because the camera fought me, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll try a different one. Um, let's try this one over here. Or is that the one we did? I think that's the one we did. Let's just take a look. Yes. Okay, so that is the one we did. So we're going to go back through. We're going to convince him to follow us again by just being a real shit and, like, waving our fanny. Look at my fanny. Look at my fanny. Look at my fanny. Um, okay, and here we go, and grab the thing, wait for him, because I feel like, like, I feel like he auto-tracks you, I don't remember if that's the case or not, but I feel like as soon as, as soon as I go looking for him, it's usually when he starts, uh, see, there he is, so that's what happens every fucking time, there we go, got him, so he's gonna bust out of this one. Okay, so then I need to spin that one. Okay, so let's go this way. So that shows you what that does. Okay, we get it. So there he is. So what we need to do is we need to get him to come over to me here. And then we kind of have to goad him through the center there. I mean, you can, it's pretty clear what you have to do. So he's gonna phase or maybe not. Is he gonna phase? It looked like he was gonna phase. Okay, maybe he won't. Seemed really stupid if he wouldn't, but, you know, what am, who am I to say? Come on, idiot. There we go. All right, I think we got him. Tell me, Melchiah, where can I find Cain? The master is beyond your reach, Raziel. He makes himself known when he sees fit, not when commanded. Splat. Really 
So now we're going to get his powers, just like Legend of Zelda. Power up! You have done well, Raziel. Am I reduced to this? A ghoul? A fratricide? Elevated, Raziel. Not reduced. Consuming Melchia's soul has endowed you with a new gift. Insubstantial barriers such as these are no impediment to you in the Spectral Realm. Will yourself to pass through, and you shall. Alright, so let's get ourselves out of here. Um, I'm just going to throw this because we're not going to be able to keep it anyway. Um, I believe in one of the later games you can eventually just pass through stuff like this without um, without having to be in the Spectral Realm. But this is the one power-up that seems to persist through the games um, that you have all the time is the, um, is the, uh, the phase power-up. I believe you might have the swim one um, later on as well, but that pretty is, that's pretty much it. Um, the rest of them don't, don't seem to stick around as much. And they're also not as memorable either. They don't really have as much to do with the story or anything like that. Um, oh, and you, you can shoot a sonic blast. So there's three that I can think of off the top of my head that are actually, you know, vital to the, to the game itself. So, all right, let's jump up here and jump up there. And we're still full on health, so we're good here. Get ourselves out of there. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back and... Well, let's let's exit here first and see if um, our friend has anything to... The Elder God has anything to say to us about uh, our next mission. And then I will be done here for this Saturday. And if you want to catch me again next Saturday, um, we will have part two, uh, hopefully, uh, have part two up. Um, but yeah, like I said, I usually do these in about uh, an hour and a half. Oh, here we go. Sanctuary of the clans, Raziel. Melchia's soul has endowed you with the means to gain entry. Beware, however, this hollow derelict is abandoned, but not uninhabited. So yeah, so we got to go back to uh, the area where all the clans and stuff are, um, and we will do that uh, next time. But yeah, if you uh, if you want to catch me again uh, next Saturday, we'll uh, continue playing this game. And um, yeah, so that'll be part two. Uh, thanks for watching. I was wait, we'll go in here and get this. I want that? These artifacts enhance your stamina enabling you to prolong your material manifestation. Gather five to complete the emblem and thereby augment your strength. So we know at least where, what, two of them are? Two more of them? Yeah, so I'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll be, uh, when we come back, we'll be ready to go to the Sanctuary of the Clans and find out where we're going to go to next. So thanks for watching.